In the absence of the injured Leon Goretzka, Schalke were banking on Weston McKenney, who scored and dazzled in his debut for the USA. The Königsblauen were unbeaten in five, winning three in that run. Hamburg had lost four straight away matches and conceded a 16th minute penalty when Gideon Jung impeded Yevhen Konoplyanka. The fifth penalty awarded to Schalke this season. Franco Di Santo ended a Bundesliga drought stretching back to March 2016. Domenico Tedesco's side had dominated the early exchanges. An important moment psychologically for Di Santo. Hamburg last prevailed at the Feltins Arena back in 2011. Once again, Markus Gisdol went with 17-year-old prodigy Jan Fiete Arp in attack. He came close with 23 minutes played. Arp had scored in his two previous Bundesliga appearances. Gerald Azamoa, who served Schalke for 11 years, was there to cheer on his old club. But they were outplayed for much of the second half by an eager Hamburg. Aaron Hunt struck the outside of the post after superb lead-up play by Arp. Markus Gisdor's side were regularly troubling the Schalke defence. Hamburg had taken 10 points from seven games with Hunt in the lineup, no points from four without him. Schalke chances were scarce. Weston McKenney did his best to lift the atmosphere after receiving a pass from Breil Embolo, who came on for De Santo at half time. It was deflected by Kiriakos Papadopoulos. Nerves were evident, but then Daniel Caragiuri went running at the Hamburg defence. Konoplyanka's pass for Guido Burgstaller, who bagged his fourth goal of the season and his 13th league goal as a Schalke player. Ten of the 13 arriving at home. Schalke go into next week's Revier Derby in second place, three clear of local rivals Dortmund.